Throughout the initial collapse and recovery, social media has been filled with photos, video, and new de details of the topic of the Westfield stage collapse. Here's the Now's Lauren Casey with a look at the timeline. Now, since the news broke last night of the stage collapse, we started working our sources, trying to find out what exactly happened. And one of the fastest ways we can find out what's going on is from you, our viewers, on social media. We use the hashtags, see what's going on, try to find out from people at Westfield who were there at the event what exactly happened. So let's take a look at a timeline of setup of events from social media. First, take a look at this eerie post from Westfield High School, literally moments before the collapse. This was tweeted around 1010 last night. And at 1144, a student, Sarah, who was in the audience, posted this video of the collapse. And just take a look at all of the comments, many asking her permission to use or share this video. It's cell phone video of the performance, and it shows the exact moment of the collapse and the chaos in the first few seconds after. As she writes, what a scary ending. You can see here we shared her video with you, and throughout the night, people like Pat McAfee, tweeted about the collapse saying, scary stuff, I hope everyone's all right. We're here with you, Westfield. At 11.39, another student shared a video as an eyewitness in the crowd. And at 11.54, Taylor Knight, a student injured in the collapse, tweeted, just got discharged with only a possible concussion. I'm okay. Please keep students in your thoughts and prayers. Mayor Andy Cook from Westfield tweets his thoughts around midnight. Their high school principal, Ms. McGuire, tweeted throughout the night updates, thanking first responders and then organizing a meeting with students and staff before school. Now, just before 9 a.m., Governor Mike Pence tweeting relief that there was no loss of life and also that the fire marshal and state police are beginning an investigation into the collapse. Now, some of the things that have been trending all night long have been hashtag Westfield stage collapse and hashtag Westfield strong people across the state and beyond sharing their thoughts with the community of Westfield during this time. We'll continue to gather more information on the stage collapse, but reporting for the now, Indy Lauren Casey, RTV6.